Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and I know the channel has been a little bit white diamond crazy lately, but so has the entire fandom. When it comes to this major figure in the series, there are a lot of questions to be raised. And with questions comes theories. And over the last three years, there have been a plethora of white diamond theories, but more so than ever now that she's actually been introduced into the show proper. But thanks to a recent interview at The Wrap, Rebecca Sugar has actually not so subtly confirmed some of those said white diamond theories. Now, of course, spoiler warning, if you want to still stay completely blind to everything white diamond, click off now. If not, sit back, relax, and let's dive in. The article and interview reads, it's been quite an exciting summer for fans of Steven Universe. The theory that Rose Quartz was actually pink diamond was confirmed, Ruby and Sapphire got married, Steven got blue and yellow diamond on his side, and Cartoon Network has announced that the series will get a TV movie next year. But fans seem to be most abuzz about the long-awaited debut of the most powerful and terrifying gem of all, White Diamond. In just a minute of screen time, White has left fans wondering just what kind of gem she is. And showrunner Rebecca Sugar says she's surprised to find that some of the fan theories have figured out what she has in store for future episodes. I have seen some readings that are astonishingly on point about White, Sugar told the rap, and I'm really happy about that because she's only been on screen for a few seconds. Sugar credits the impact of White Diamond's debut to her voice actor, Christine Ebersole, who has won two Tony Awards for her performance in two musicals, 42nd Street and Grey's Gardens. As White Diamond and her robotic, clearly abused Pearl, Ebersole showed audiences for a condescending speech to Steven about Pink Diamond's latest little game, and asking him if he, and asking him if he got everything out of your system. While Sugar did not want to spoil what lies ahead for Steven and the Crystal Gems, she did suggest that some fans' early impression of White as a cold ruler with lack of empathy for the gems who serve her have been quite correct, and hence that Steven's compassionate approach towards his foes will be tested harder than ever before. Let's put it this way. On a show where problems are solved by communicating your feelings, the ultimate unsolvable problem would be related to that. She said before abruptly exclaiming, ah, I've said too much. Sugar also hints that as Steven learns more about White Diamond, fans will also learn more about Pink Diamond's past before she faked her death and disguised herself as the rebel Rose Quartz. She says that while the process of slowly revealing Pink's true history was ironed out in the writer's room, she had drawn up a chart showing the overarching timeline of Pink's past and might show it to fans when the show is done. There were some parts of telling Pink Diamond's story that generated huge amounts of conflict in the writer's room, and I think ended up being the most exciting stuff about her, Sugar said. It's been so rewarding being able to build this character that is so complicated and morally gray. We wanted to make sure that whenever it looked like you could put her in this box as totally good or bad, that we turned away from that. There's still a bit more to come about Pink that will explain why she was the way she was, but I'm glad people are asking a larger question about her. If you have good reasons to behave badly, does that make it okay? There's no easy answers, and that's why I love writing for her. And that about wraps up the interview. And from this, we get a lot of subtle confirmations, such as that yes, White Diamond does lack empathy. Something a lot of fans picked up on that we discussed here on the channel is the fact that White Diamond and White Pearl didn't seem really too emotionally present, that they seem detached from their emotions. When it comes to all that stuff, it's not that they don't seem to care. Instead, they may be incapable of such. Which makes sense, as it does seem as if White and Pink are polar opposites, like how Yellow and Blue are opposites. While White and Pink seem to share the whole lack of empathy thing, something that Rebecca Sugar explained on the podcast, Pink Diamond does lack empathy, or at least it was something she was working on. White Diamond lacks empathy as well, whereas Pink Diamond was very emotional, definitely in tune with her emotions, White Diamond isn't at all. She tends to stray away from all of that. And another major theory confirmation that Sugar actually said she said too much about is that because White Diamond lacks empathy because she's detached from her emotions, it will be very difficult for Stephen to get through to her. If not, flat out impossible. As we said in the Crystal Clear about White Diamond being the perfect antagonist, what makes her the perfect antagonist is that unlike Yellow and Blue, Stephen can't appease her emotions because she's lacking in them. In a show that's all about needing emotional support and talking things out, it would make sense as we're entering what could be the final chapter of the series that the most powerful gem of all is immune to every tactic we've seen Steven use throughout his adventures. And finally, the third major theory that seemed to be confirmed, although not explicitly stated, is that White Diamond did have an abusive relationship with Pink Diamond. That White made Pink the way she was. We can infer this from the fact that Sugar said the more we learn about White, the more we learn about Pink. And raising the question, if someone has good reasons to behave badly, does that make their behavior acceptable? As we saw from Pink Diamond's earlier life, again, that bratty, problematic attitude, all sides are pointing to that having a correlation with how White treated her. And if White is this evil, horrible, evil stepmother type figure, it makes sense why Pink Diamond never mentioned her. 
But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What major white diamond theory do you have that may have not been confirmed yet, but you hope to see come to fruition in the show proper? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts related to me at Austric Vox. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help the Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Vox, out.